Past technical seminars are an Intertech production. For instructor-led.net, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com. Oh, my name is Davin Michelson, uh, or as the bill collectors say, Davin Mickelson, <laughs> when they call it. No. Uh, actually, I teach Microsoft Technologies here at Intertech. That includes uh, beginning programming, .NET based stuff, such as C Sharp and VB, ASP.NET, MVC. I also teach the SQL technologies as well, SQL Server, SQL two th Server 2005 and 2008. So one word I'd use to describe Davin is enthusiastic. Some words that we'd use to describe Davin would be very compassionate. He is caring. Nobody gives more in the classroom than Devin. Always concerned about students. I've seen him here until 6 o'clock in the evening worrying about uh, students and helping him out with labs. Uh, my background, I've been teaching since 2002 it was. I started teaching .NET. Back when I was in beta, I actually taught Andrew's stuff back at the University of Minnesota. I actually created the curriculum there and did a little bit of training for them. And after that, I just loved teaching so much. Before that, I was a consultant, of course, working with the Microsoft Technologies. People here will tell you I do have a love affair with Microsoft, and I drank the Kool-Aid, so I apologize up front for that. Something that you don't know about Davin is that he is a longtime guitar player. Uh, Davin loves dogs, and given his personality, and as you see him in the classroom, uh, what more could you expect? A guy who is loving and caring about everything that lives, including uh, his puppies. Something you might not know about Davin is he has a huge pickup truck with wolves on it and his license plate says Wolfish. Hi, uh, my name is Davin Michelson. I'm with Intertech Training. And for this presentation, I'm going to talk about developing ASP.NET AJAX custom controls. Um, specifically, I'm going to talk about how I can go ahead and create those controls using, of course, the AJAX library, ASP.NET. JavaScript. There's a lot that's actually involved in creating custom ASP.NET AJAX controls. I gave this presentation at Microsoft in December and I also gave it virtually that same day. And uh, it was interesting to talk to other people to see how much they were using um, the AJAX framework, how they're using the AJAX control toolkit, how they're using custom JavaScript programming. And I didn't get much feedback as to how many people are creating custom controls and I think that's due to the complexity of them. However, we you and I as ASP.NET developers are going to have to get more skilled at creating these custom controls and that is also going to require us to have a lot of different skills specifically with working with JavaScript, .NET Framework and things of that nature. Okay, a little bit about myself. I'm a certified trainer and I've been working with Intertech for almost five years now. Before that I worked at another training facility. Notice that I got the MCSD, MCPD, I got a, a bunch of certifications, kind of a junkie on this measure here. And I do have my email address up there as well, davin at intertech.com. I wanted to keep it simple, you know, just in case anybody ever wants to contact me. I do love to hear from students, find out what they're working on, and any questions they have about Microsoft technology specifically. I have my own website. My brother and I actually run this site. It's called mndeveloper.com, MN for Minnesota, obviously. And I've got a blog there as well, although the blog will be moving over to Intertech's website. So I'll just keep my personal blog there, and I'll have my Intertech blog. I teach several different classes at Intertech. I can teach the ASP.NET, uh, AJAX, VB, C -sharp .net. I also cover some UML with object-oriented analysis and design. Beginning programming is always a blast. And some SQL Server courses as well. I love working with Microsoft Technologies. As my brother says, I drank the Kool-Aid. So <laughs> anyways, it's a lot of cool technologies I teach. And I hope you guys get something out of this little presentation. Uh, background, I have been developing professionally since 1994. I've had more experience developing software as a, as a programmer than as an instructor. Um, I've developed web apps since 1998 using many different technologies, Perl, ColdFusion, PHP, and of course classic ASP script and uh, of course ASP.NET. ASP.NET right now is actually going through some changes, you know, with the we've gotten used to programming web forms since 2002 with the release of Visual Studio 2002 and MVC is going to be taking a lot stronger foothold when the next release of Visual Studio comes out next year. I believe it's March 22nd, they're going to release Visual Studio 2010. Some presentations, I've given some presentations over at TechEd and in the .NET user group and Visual Studio Team System user group that's run by Intertech. 
thanks a lot though for uh, logging on and like I said I hope you get something out of this presentation like I said this presentation was given live in person and I'm just redoing it here for the virtual world or for the uh, recorded world slides will be available at this web address you can download the PDF right now actually and that'll be for this presentation right here and of course we're making the recorded presentation that's what you're listening to right now the agenda well here's what we're going to cover first things first just for everybody's benefit I'm going to talk about how to ASP.NET Ajax framework works how this framework uh, works and for creating specialized web applications that have client-side technology and server-side technology I'm also going to talk about the Ajax control toolkit which are some awesome controls which can add Ajax functionality to our sites and of course um, the two different types of controls that we have which are controls and extenders which actually modify existing controls behavior I'll also talk about the Ajax client library this is a set of JavaScript library files that Microsoft has written that we should be taking advantage of as developers enabling us to have object-oriented programming on the client side making it much easier to create applications I'll also talk about creating custom Ajax controls specifically prerequisites with skills what skills do you need to create these custom controls? Then we'll talk about the actual Ajax control that we can create and the extender controls as well, the difference between those two and some of the functions we're going to use. We'll also take a look at some example code for those. And I don't have no problem at all. Let's just take a look at Visual Studio 2010. Now at the time that you're uh, creating this presentation, Visual Studio 2010 is in beta 2 and that's what I currently have installed on my machine. And I'll talk about how Ajax, MVC, and some other things like jQuery, for example, are part of uh, .NET 4.0 that's going to be released in March. Finally, I'll talk about the custom controls, my last thoughts of what it is about creating these custom controls, and some you know basic opinion. You take it or leave it. Now, first things first, Ajax programming makes ASP.NET programming easier, specifically with the JavaScript. It speeds up the performance of our applications. Uh, for example, you can make a request of a server and update a small portion of a page instead of constantly posting the entire page and all the controls to the server, having all the events be raised on Havel on the server side, recreating all the controls with their current state, and sending it all back to the client. That's why we like to use AJAX programming. Now with ASP.NET AJAX, that of course will write all the necessary JavaScript for us automatically. We don't instead have to use that XML HTTP request object that normal Ajax programmers much use. For example, one of the upcoming classes we do have in Intertech is going to be called Complete Ajax, and in that course we spend a fair amount of time talking about how to program the XML HTTP request object. Admittedly, if you want the most control for doing Ajax programming, you should stick with that object. That just makes the most sense. However, take advantage of some of this uh, Ajax controls that are part of the framework. This can actually save you a lot of JavaScript programming. For more free learning resources and to see the latest lineup of our instructor-led .NET, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com.